Hey there, chat. Hi, this is Meta, and this is the drawing stream where I talk about everything besides the drawing itself. Tonight we're gonna be doing Twitter replies. Uh, also, happy pride. We're not gonna be starting until a little bit after, so... Uh, I figured I should just uh, get in here. And, you know, wait. Oh my gosh, I'm tired. Let's see. Put out the tweet. I'm gonna have to talk about all the <laughs> um, new uh, skins that came out recently. So I guess that'll be fun.
God, they fucking change number. What the hell? Honestly, I didn't think I'd be working today, but I was. So I'm sufficiently tired out, but I'm happy to like do this. It's nice. Let me actually get up the tweet of where I uh, ask people for some ideas, because uh, that'll be a good thing, I think. Something like that, yeah. Okay, I've got like four requests. Draw someone scrungled and craggly, axolotl scarl, spirit blossom bard, and kindred but in the style of Amori. So let's try and get to those. Like maybe, I don't know. I am, I'm really, I, I really do like, uh, what's it called? The new bard skin. Really, really cool. And God, is it like, the colors are ones that I would never use, but it's just something real special. Uh, so, let's see. Let's, uh, tackle one at a time here. Because I'm not going to be going too, like, in detail for these. But, uh, this is for something scrungled and craggly. And, while harvest mice aren't really scrungled craggly, uh, I, I feel like they're still, like, they're plenty scrungled to, like, still fit, you know? Like, why the fuck do they look like that, man? Like, they've got such chubby little bodies. And technically, I was supposed to draw a, a bit Vinturong, but that's uh, like hard. I mean, drawing this mouse is hard too, but like, that would be even harder. So, no. No. This is called Meta. Meta needs a fucking break. They love pollen. They're such little guys. Crungle and scraggly creature. Harvest mice are so fucking cute, man. This is kind of as close to realism as I'm gonna try and achieve for this series. And even then, I'm not really going for 
realism so much as I am like detail I guess because I'm referencing a photo obviously Maybe I should make a, how do you, where's the fucking uh, germa rat? I'll draw that one too. I feel like that one's more scrungled craggly than a uh, harvest mouse. Okay. <laughs> this, thing, this model, <laughs> Oh my god. It is. It stalks at night. Prays at night. I wonder if Marie's gonna get a new theme added, uh, like how Block Dahlia and uh, Umbrella did. I guess that's if they add a new stage for her. Uh, but I don't see why they wouldn't. I mean, I guess they already have a final boss stage for her and all that, so it wouldn't really makes sense but you know I can dream bro this fucking rat is ridiculous <laughs> the one that I'm looking at is uh real um it's a really f it's low Poly low poly count. Low poly count rat. Flowery hamster. So true. So true. <laughs> I mean, it's a harvest mouse and I'm making a German mouse, but really same thing, honestly. Also, hi, so it's been a while, actually. Did, uh, did you get in a request? Actually, no, I, I don't think you did. Sag. Maybe if we, uh, run out of, uh, prompts to do, uh, we can do one of yours or something. Nah, just check in. Didn't know that there was a request. Just... Well, now you know. Uh... It was uh, here. For the next stream, I'll need some suggestions from our lovely Twitter public. What do you want to see me draw? <laughs> I'll retweet it. Bro. Okay, I've got a. The germa rat is. Like, the feet are L shaped. 
in there. It's like if I didn't know how to draw like a creature at all. Which I think just adds to it, you know? And then it's a uh, looks like this. I feel like this I feel like this rat is considerably more scrungled and craggly than the field mouse. Give him maybe like a party hat. I don't know. Uh, really, really silly. Let's see. I'm trying to... It's got like a more It's mostly about uh outlines I guess today and sketching cuz I'm not going to go full force with these things. Should I tell the request here or in the Twitter post? Uh Let's see. You can do it on the Twitter post, but I'll see it much better here. Let's see. Alright, the rats are going over there for right now. They're banned. All right. Now I've got to look up reference for Scarl. Can you fucking hear this? Scarl. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Okay. Oh yes, the clickety noise. <laughs> That's my fucking phone. I don't have it on silent. Whatever. It's how you know I'm I'm searching up references for this. Cause our next uh our next one is Axolotl Scarl. Wow, are you doing art? Oh, yeah, I am. <laughs> Morrow, you are watching without audio. You cannot hear me. But yes, I am. D get a bold decision. Wow. <laughs> We're up to four viewers. Let's go, boys. They're doing art. They're not doing art. They're doing gamer. <laughs> I hear you is like that because I'm on phone. All right. Sorry. <laughs> didn't mean. Didn't mean to yell. Didn't mean to yell. Uh. <laughs> I'm out here at the... Alright. Scarl. 
Scarl Time. They are very hard to draw. And then I'm gonna have to look up what axolotls are. Now I hear you, but I did not see you. Yeah, no, I'm 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 playing Minecraft currently. Uh, you can't tell that, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. So, get out. And then the frills. Why do I keep hitting my fucking PC? <laughs> it's already been 21 minutes. What the hell? What the hell? Scarl is strange to draw, but eh, we'll get through it. Also, I have to make this not her. Like, I have to make this squishy. So, alright. Okay, spell axolotl. <laughs> alright, there we are. Uh, putting that down there. Kind of like a newt sort of tail. Uh, 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 uh. Ah. And then, basically, I can do something. Awful scarl design I am making, but you know it's what it, it's what was asked of me, and I shall deliver. Uh, I can have it so that the arms are just growing back. Because that's a fun feature of the axolotl, is that uh, if their arms are cut off, they grow back. Uh, so, just have it like in an upstate. <sighs> Looks like a friend. <laughs> Thank you, Mara. It's a uh, very friendly. Some of these, some of these axolotls look absolutely awful. All right, let's see. I'm out here with the like inscription music. <laughs> I don't know what kind of cled would be riding this specific scarl. Maybe like a like a swamp, like a swamp, but uh, cled. <laughs> He's like uh, maybe like a parody of like a, a Baba Yaga or something. That could be cool. Uh, I don't know if that would work, but it'd be cool. Triton cled, but with an, a trident instead of an axe. Oh, that could be cool too.
the scarl is. Out here. Uh, also, what do you think of my uh, my scrungled and craggly creatures over here? Uh, how are you feeling about those? They are cute. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, I try my best to provide. Ill vehicle. They don't have cigars. <laughs> yeah, let me. So, don't worry. I got you. This kind of looks like the German rat smoking like a flat, like a fat blunt, but you know. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so, so so scrungled, so craggly. Oh, hello, Caravan. I'm actually doing your request right now. Yeah. She's... I mean, she's just a little... She's just a little guy. I mean, not littler than Cled himself, but... I, what kind of Cled... Do you think that Axolotl Scarl belongs to Caravan? Just asking. I want to know your opinion. Your, their opinion. Perfect. I'm still a bit unsure. I was thinking about... Like a sea slug. I was drawing my own axolotl skull. Like his ears are a bunny looking antennae or something. That would be cute. Like a... He's like a leaf sheep or something. Though, personally, I think that... I like the idea of, like, swamp. I don't know why swamp is, like, the first thing I'm, like, really after. But... Mm. Usually I draw Cled first and struggle with the Skarl, but it's the opposite nowadays. It's when it comes to the skin ideas. Fair enough. I mean, like, when it comes to champions, you have to really go for certain things when it comes to their look. Like, um, for Cled uh, and Skarl, you see. You need to take into account Cled's beard, or if you're going to leave it out, his ears, and all that. Ah, <laughs> uh, hello there, random artist I've definitely never met before. Oh, yeah. Hello there. 
it. Hello there, coyote. We're drawing, drawing Twitter requests, so, yeah. As I was saying, let's see. Uh, when it comes to, like, character skins, with Kled, you need to account for his ears, you need to account for his hat, you need to account for his beard, and you need to account for Scarl. Was it a mistake uh, or whatever? But well, let's see. Let's get on to the next next drawing because <laughs> I'm. I'll I'll get back to the line art for some of these maybe if I'm feeling it. But uh, oh, Amori Kindred is the next one. Okay. So it's specifically uh, kindred in the style of Amori. So I have to draw kindred right. Oh, also off is uh, bigger. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. Uh, and then the last request is for Bard, and that can actually segue nicely into, uh, the skins we've got for this year. Um, since most people are here, I'd like to say, uh, a happy Pride month to everyone. Uh, I know that I'll be, uh, drawing some <laughs> actual Pride drawings this year too. Maybe that's what we'll do for our closing uh, little statement or something. Is to actually finish the thingy I was working on. But uh, we got uh, what's it called? The new Shanghai Scrolls and the new Crystal Modus Leona. I'm, I'm really struggling because Crystal Modus just kind of looks like a prestige skin. I don't, I don't really understand its appeal, uh, but I mean, I'm sure that the Leona enjoyers are eating well, as they always do. Uh. And then Shanghai Scrolls. I, I think that my favorite out of all of them has, has to be uh, Bard. Like that one just rules. And I'm actually using um, him as a reference for uh, the other one, Crystal Lotus. Leona enjoys getting fat with that much eating. Well, Crystal Modus with an M. Crystal Lotus would be way fucking cooler, honestly. But yeah, um, Leona enjoyers aren't ever going to starve. Uh, good for them. Good for them. But yeah, the bard skin fucking like that shit goes hard. And it it reminds me of uh like the previous uh skins we got for Shanghai Scrolls. But for the other ones I don't know what it is. Like, Tom Kench's one is perfectly executed. It's a good skin. It's just that, like, I feel like Coin Emperor 
Tom Ken ch just does its job better at doing what it's supposed to be doing. Like, he doesn't really feel too much like a dragon in the skin. I get the catfish going up a, like a waterfall. Like that whole... What's it called? Uh, legend? It's a very famous one. It's just... Mm. I like his splash art the most, though, besides Bart's splash art. Uh, let's see. But... What, what else is there? Kogma is strange. Like, it fits his model pretty well, I guess. But it also just feels like, uh, what's it called? Uh, it just feels like if you made smaller Kench. Kench might have pulled it off better if he was a longer boy, but I like how it turned out nonetheless. Yeah, true. It doesn't really capture- like, this line of Shanghai Scrolls doesn't capture the same vibes that the previous ones did. But like, even the Wild Rift exclusive, um, ones with Aatrox and Volibear really didn't hit the mark for me. But, like, there's not really much- you, like, Shanghai Scrolls Jin and Shanghai Scrolls Nautilus are- like, it's really hard to compete with, like, Shanghai Scrolls Cho'Gath. It's really, really hard. It's like, <laughs> these skins would have been fine if they were in any other line, I swear to god. <laughs> but, like, when you compare it to, like, Nico's splash art, and then you compare it to, like, Lilia's splash art, it, it just, there's such a big difference it's to me. But maybe, like, I know that a lot of people are enjoying the whole thing. Uh, I hope that the Kogma enjoyers enjoy his new skin, I guess. It just feels like if they made smaller Tom Kench to me. But it's nicely modeled and really no complaints here. Uh, I mean, like, if Kogma was... You know, actually, what's it called? Updated for once in his goddamn life, uh, he would look better. But that's not a. Ri that's just a question of is League ever gonna, you know, fix its uh, main problem? Alright, and then, uh, Lilia. This is our fourth Lilia skin, and it is... It, it feels... It, it's a good skin, don't get me wrong. I like the cloud hair. But... It, it kind of just feels like if they... Like... Put Spirit Blossom in a more Chinese-centric setting, if that makes sense. Like, they've got different colors, but, uh, what? Yeah, I, I wish, I wish she was more monstery. I, I like the color. It's, it's just that, like, it, like, I don't get censor from her from her lantern reskin, I like. I feel like there was ways to push, sh like the whole like idea of her like her skin much more clearly, but it, it just kind of feels confused, and it leaves her feeling sort of half baked, which is weird.
I don't even really know what my like main complaint with Billy is. I should actually get her up here and see. Really, yeah. Shanghai scroll. And I mean, this is. The previous one was about mountains, and this one was about the sea. Alright, here we are. I found it. Yeah, okay. So, I feel like the main problem with this is that, like, we get no sense of difference between her. She's still essentially what she is in the base game. She's still a deer. She's still kind of cute, kind of humanoid, kind of vaguely Asian-inspired. And, like, the colors aren't stark enough to really push your mind in that direction either. Like, I would not go, yeah, this is about the sea. Nothing about this screams to me. Oh yeah, she's a like a protector of a bird or whatever. Her splash says she is or whatever. Which is a real shame because Lilia is, I feel like, has a ton of potential to become a lot of different centaurs, essentially. Like, I'm still waiting on, like, the day that they decide, you know what it would be a good idea? Uh, like a Stellicorn Lilia. Or even, like, Reindeer Lilia. I don't know why they haven't done Reindeer Lilia. That is such an obvious one. It's staring them right in the face. I have to go into like black for this one because that's how Amori styles kind of. I never got a vacation in Guam when I played <laughs> Toadachi Life. They should bring it back. Also, finally figured out what a request to give. Very nice. Very nice. Thumbs up. Bow 7 and all that, yeah. Let's see. Also, I... But, like, Crystal Modus. Crystal Modus is Leona. I'm not even sure why she even got a skin. Like, it, it's a completely new skin line with a really... I don't really understand the theme. I think that's what it is. I don't understand what they're going for. And... Like, is it trying to be, like, high fashion with, like, crystals? Because, like, that's already prestige. I'm, I'm really... I'm really confused. 
Oh, I thought that was something else. Okay. Good. I can be a little bit pencil -y here. Normally when a new skin line is made, they usually have the first ones play with the theme in an interesting way. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I don't... When I see Crystal Modus Leona, I at first thought it was a prestige. Yeah, Leona feels like a second wave skin. Yeah, okay, what is it? Uh, here's the, here's the, uh, you know what it feels like? It feels like if they took away the Christian theming of, uh, the Broken Covenant universe and replaced glass with crystal. Um, Leona knows what caused the purge, blasphemy. Magic's disappearance was retribution for humanity's arrogance and misuse of it. As a worshipper of the Prismite Crystal, she believes it's her sacred duty to protect it. But she also prays to them in secret, hoping they'll bring back her last love, D Diana, who disappeared after journey yeah, journeying to the north. I'll put the requests it's on twitter so the flow of chat isn't broken thank you also like this like the splash shirt's just so bleh like nothing is happening it's a uh, like it's it's technically executed well it is technically fine it is competent in what it is trying to achieve which is some level of glamour but it feels so corporate i guess that's the word but like corporate's not even like the correct term like it feels like the background itself it feels so washed out like it ha like is the whole thing about like bringing color back into the world i don't get that also like she's it's like all these colors are just washed completely out so so like hmm I don't even like her outfit. Like, it's not like a sleigh moment either. Like, if Leona slays hard enough in said skin line, I'll, I'll forgive it for, like, being another Leona skin. Like, if they're gonna do, like, a cool thing with it, you know? Like, Leona having the, like, high noon legendary, weird as fuck. But, but, that shit was so fucking sick though. That splash art, really, really beautiful. And all those effects were really stunning. But, I don't get any of that here. <laughs> there, it feels like, I, I don't know why anyone would buy this skin. Is my main, like arc about it, I guess, because y you don't get anything from it that you couldn't get from a billion other skins that Leona already has that, like, have cooler splash arts. 
I guess it's if you've already bought all of Leona's million other skins. But like why would why would you do that? But the hat is new. It's so true. It's a it's a pretty cool hat though, guys. It's, come on. That hat's really new. <laughs> She's got pink hair this time, guys. It's so different. It's so different. Like, I get the reason why people would buy ugly Battle Academia Leona. It's it's atrocious looking, but I get it. I I get like why you would even try to buy it. You know. Uh, and for some, like, overlapping skins, like, that, even that can be, like, avoided, too. Because, like, um, Heartthrob Caitlyn and Battle Academia Caitlyn are basically just Caitlyn, but in a school setting. But they change it up by having those two fashions being wildly different. And having, you know... The whole, like, idea, like, the whole mood of Caitlyn, the whole, like, her whole character is played around with in those two kinds of skins. It's one where she's, you know, super preppy, which plays into her rich Piltoven side, and, like, she's real lovey-dovey or whatever. And then this one skin where she's going about her, like, whole type A personality, and she's got, uh stocking hair like those like they do something well i would rather not have two school caitlin skins that's kind of weird but like i understand that i understand that <laughs> crystal lotus leona doesn't have a purpose uh but some people are like When's Crystal Modus Seraphine? <laughs> and I mean, go off, go off, King, go off, Queen. She serves no purpose. She's not even serving, Duck. She's not even serving. She's doing the gaze a disservice by <laughs> not even serving. What the hell? <laughs> Let's see. But yeah, people want Seraphine, Talia, and, and Tarek. And, you know, I think that Talia would make a, like, be great in a crystal skin line. I just don't think that this should be a skin line. I don't understand it. <laughs> I don't, like, and during Pride Month, too. It's so sad, guys. Can't be just- it's not slaying here. It's not girl boss of you. Anyway, we're- let's see. Like, Tilia makes sense for like a crystal line skin theme, cause, ah, you know? her brocks being substituted in for crystals boom cool idea really easy to like go for i mean star guardian kind of does that but not really if we're being completely honest and you know that's pretty cool though honestly i think it is the fact that like the skin line doesn't seem to have any fashion behind it like there's no besides crystal i i'm not really sure what they're even going for here i think that's and that's the main problem is that like 
I couldn't even tell you if this was a futuristic skin line. That's how how weird it is, you know? Like, some of her, like, materials could be futuristic, but they could also be from the Middle Ages. Do you know? I don't. <laughs> and it's not even that I hate her. Not even that I hate the skin, to be quite fair. It's not... It's not ugly, but that's kind of the point, is that they could be doing something. They could be, you know, trying and failing. Also, just like, give other champions skins that aren't named Leona. That would be nice, huh? Uh, let's see. Who has joined the five... 100 plus days since their last skin club. Um, alright. We've got Skarner, obviously. I mean, I guess we're still waiting on that VGU. Um, we've got Alistar. Yeah, it makes sense. We've got Wukong. We've got Rumble. Uh, we've got, uh, Velkaz, which, I mean, like, Velkaz, I guess, has a hard model for, uh, like, skin artists for, but the one that I don't understand here is Braum. 500 plus days since Braum has had his last skin. Strange. Strange, strange, strange. He's not even that difficult to skin for. What is going on? He's also popular. He's really popular. He's like one of your faces. Corky, Rengar, uh, Karthus, Olaf, Trindamir, Poppy, Gwen, Brand, Nar, Rek'Sai, Zinjao, so called uh, Akshon and Elise. Wait, where the fuck is Mundo? Is there a skin release that I didn't fucking see? Huh? Oh! Mundo is- he hasn't gotten a skin, but yeah. Xin Zhao, yeah, he's- But, um, confirmed upcoming skins it's, um, for all of them out there. Uh, two of my mains are on there, let's fucking go, boys. Vagar Nation always winning, even if it's not a fucking Vagar skin. Um, it's, uh, we've got Shivana, Oriana, Mundo, and Senna. So, they've, they've got skins coming up soon. So that's something. I don't know what kind of, I don't know what Senna skin I should buy. I mean, High Noon Senna is just such a, so... She is such a baddie, but like also, like, what's it called? Bewitching Senna is also such a baddie. <sighs> choices, choices. But yeah, uh, one that I don't understand is why the fuck hasn't Gwen gotten a skin? Isn't she like extremely popular to play? And she, I don't think she's all that hard to skin for either. <laughs> like, huh? Like, I understand brand, cause people, like, why, why the fuck would you want a brand skin? Uh, you've got a Demeter. You've got Debonair. <laughs> Come on.
But yeah, Xin Zhao, I don't know if he's ever going to get a skin ever again. Uh, also, isn't Auction really popular at the moment too? I, I don't understand why you're giving, like, Leona, who has, like, a stiff-ass character model, like, five billion skins. Well, I guess it's because you don't need to work as hard for a Leona skin. I guess that's the... that's the reason. But... Come on. All right, there we are. It's basically uh, like an Amori kindred. <laughs> At first I'm like, wow, this year has like had like zero fucking skins in it. But no, that's not true. It's just that like most of the skins I feel have been really forgettable as it were and that looks pretty sick actually thank you thank you you're too kind you're too kind all right time for the one i did a sketch of which is spirit blossom bard I don't know why Viego's theme keeps playing, but yeah, sure, go off, King. I feel like they made, like, that Zillion skin a little bit ago, just because players were just, like, annoying the devs, <laughs> like, beyond belief. So yeah, this is for Spirit Blossom Bard. Uh, and, you know, I didn't really know what to do. So, I just kind of was like, uh, but something that, because I didn't want to go for like a Kabuki mask or like a Tengu mask. I mean, I think that a Tengu probably would work pretty well. Spirit Blossom Bard sounds lovely. Yeah, and, like, there's someone that already made, like, a really good, like, fan skin of it with, like, a model and everything, but I, I didn't want to go in that direction at all, so I kind of, I've, I've gone in, like, the complete, like, opposite glory. What the fuck is a- can you- <laughs> So, can you- can you explain what your, um... 
your request what you want. Spirit Blossom Bard and the Meeps being the little guys from Princess Mononoke. Yeah, basically I'm just making like little soot sprites. Well, Bart's essentially a big soot sprite, that's what I did. Oh, a little. F oh, you're making like a little flower. Oh, I've got to see that movie at some point. It's it's really good. But yeah, I've made like his, like basically his beard is gonna be like little hands or whatever. So yeah. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant the color palette of a chocolate Cosmo. It's a flower that you, I saw and go, oh yeah, that would look good. It is really pretty. It's like a, a red maroon sort of color. It's really good. Kurosuke, ah, head. Listen, bro. Don't make fun of him. He out here. Just like trying to trying to survive and shit, bro. You don't gotta make fun of his cut, man. Honestly, this came out before. Um, the newest uh, skins came out so I'm, I'm glad that I didn't step on the skins toes when I was uh, drawing this the first time honestly and I'm making the meeps it's the little guys that appear in uh, Tristana's splash art uh, cause, I mean, everyone thought those were meeps. I mean, they're obvious. Those are basically meeps. You can't tell me that they fucking aren't. Okay? Let's see. I mean, like, I really like Bard and how non human he has to make things, so. I'm I'm glad with what they did. Like like colors. Like bro, what the fuck is that? It is so good. Also this treat <laughs> right I need I need to petition right to stop using this fucking tree cuz it is in everything and it is everywhere and I'm going insane. So Oh, can't peek. go out here. <laughs> it is everywhere, like LeBlanc. <laughs> it is everywhere. <laughs> LeBlanc is that tree, that's what she is. For she is everywhere, and she is everything. Mm 
Oh, you know what would be fun? Like, she's even right behind you. Oh, my fucking god. Look, long. don't scare me like that. <laughs> now get off that video call. And kiss me on my hot mouth. Don't close that one, chat. Anyway. I think that a puppet skin line would be fun. But then again, I think that puppets are cute. So, what am I now? Like, uh... Like, Gwen as a puppet, obviously, uh, would be good. But, like, like, Yordles as puppet references would also make sense. S to me, like, shorter-haired Yordles, like, uh, Tristana or whatever, I feel like they would feel like felt if you were to, like, uh, touch them on their cheek or whatever, yeah? Suck, Puppet Gwend. I will haunt you with that wor at work now. Bro, it is a reference. Also, you <laughs> can't do that. There is no proof. There is no proof unless you say that there is proof. But yeah, Sock Puppet Gwend would be really funny. Quite possible for an LOR skin. Oh yeah, that would be so fun. <laughs> LOR just kind of... Like, honestly, Riot Forge and LOR are what's carrying League of Legends on their fucking back. To be quite... Like, they are what's actually carrying League of Legends. It's not League itself. Let me tell you that. a spidery kind of creature. You don't have to worry about model restrictions there. Even TFT rips a lot of champ art from the card game. Exactly. Like, um, it's why we've got a uh, best version of Vegar as his thing. Not played League in three months. Probably the longest I've been without playing since I started. I mean, like, what? It, there's not really much to do. I mean, like, what? Really, you should be playing Mage Seeker or Convergence, because those came out recently. And, like, they're, like, honestly pretty good. Like, Riot Forge <laughs> just decided to release everything all at once. And I don't think we're done just yet, because. I, I'm not actually sure when Song of Nunu is supposed to release, but, uh, but yes, it, it, it is, it is a healthy decision. <laughs> uh, let's see. I want Eurl Crossing so I can die happy. <laughs> so true. So true. I just want, like, a good Yordle game. Because, while Hextech and Mayhem may have really good beats, it's by God, are the, <laughs> are the Yordle models ugly as fuck. I'm so glad that Ruined King 
like gave us some like actually cute yodel, like yordle designs um and also yops in the most recent uh game is a real mvp really cute uh But yeah, uh, I don't know when, I don't know when, uh, what's it called, Song of Nunu is going to release, but, like, I'm, like, expecting it to come out pretty soon, so, yeah, uh, I feel like this is the year of, like, your, like, Riot Forge games. Oh, also, I'm, I hope that, like, we get, like, another universe story soon, because, god damn it, are we in, like, kind of a fucking bit, man? <laughs> you can even do the whole soul human villager player if it takes place in the Vandal dimension. I mean, you could also just make it so that it's just a yordle, like, that's in glamour form essentially if they're keeping that i i believe we are still on the train of glamour is canon uh to league of legends but do not quote me on that like i think mage seeker confirms that glam glamour is still canon but god damn it is it one of the one thing it's like the one thing that like riot just keeps on going back on well they go on back on a lot of things honestly but it's it's, it's a, like it's a number of things Perfect. All right, next time. All right, wait, shit. Wrong outline. They might not look this, they might look uh, about the exact same to you, but not to me. Okay, and uh, the last one on this page is Vagar in a uh, chocolate Cosmo uh, colored dress. Bro, why the fuck is Viego playing again? I need to get off of here. Um... It's the last night with you. Mm -hmm. Got to feel
All the points are doubled. The nights and nights. Beans wrapped. Beans wrapped. Romantically. All right. Let's go turn this one up, boys. I've got this. I told myself I wouldn't multitask and now I've lost track of what I'm doing now. I feel that, I feel that. No worries. So I, I understand. Anyway, we doing your request right now, and then we're gonna hop on to the final drawing of the night. I'm currently playing New Zelda, and I can't believe, I can't get over how cute every fucking creature is. I mean, all the creatures, fantastic. Gotta. Shadow Wizard Money Gang. We love casting spells. I didn't. Ah. It, it, that's a nice dress. Thank you. But yes. She is peak. Honestly. She's just a little. She's just a little manta ray. But also, I think it's really funny that they were like, you know. We're gonna give this creature a wife, but, like, we're also going to make her talk about how much ch ch Sidon talks about <laughs> Link. Vagar having a tailor is probably the best thing to happen to with Vagar, to be honest. I mean, honestly, yeah. Has such fruity fucking vibes, bro. Bro, love. <laughs> when when you talk to your wife exclusively about another man. It's peak bro love right there.
But yeah, uh, do be looking fruity. Listen, Vagar is the fru fruitiest fucking creature known to mankind. Are you kidding me? Look at him. Uh, the creature uh, will is just the LGBT. Uh, it's ju that's just a. <laughs> that's how it works, guys. Stilted robe maker is the one panel of <laughs> Alfred Pennyworth with a bi flag and an iron. Listen, bro gets his clothes done by a fucking what is essentially a yordle drag queen. Uh huh. People are like, that's not a dress. Yes, it fucking is. Okay, boys, it's not that hard to comprehend. <sighs> Me when I joined. Vagar's gay goth gang. Vagar is a bisexual woman. It's in the book. I mean, like, it's just how. That's just canon. What do you want from me? Shadow Wizard Money Gang. All of his evil found family members wear eyeshadow. It's true. They fuck. They do. <laughs> they wear eyeshadow and wear kink gear, and <laughs> and they're in their gay ass evil wizard tower. <laughs> They do, that is so funny. <laughs> Alright. Take a look at, uh, the page there, folks, because I think that's where we're gonna call this, uh, not the stream, but this specific page. Anyway, let's uh do a little bit of a little three, two, <laughs> one. Let's go to the AFK screen for just a second. And get ourselves situated. Okay, you can close it. Look, <laughs> been taken. <laughs> All right. Dedede's royal payback. <laughs> anyway, support gay wrongs, folks. So uh, this is a. little pride thing I'm doing for myself. You know, a little treat. Just for me. You know, this is my Twitter request. To myself. What do you mean, Vagar? <laughs> You've never been wrong your entire life! <laughs> He's... 
<laughs> He's never been wrong, guys. He's never been wrong. I go fucking laughter. This is a, a little treat for me. So it's not gonna actually be <laughs> Vegar's actual pride flag stuff. Unless you, uh, like, uh, had canon Vegar as a lesbian for some reason. But, you know, if that's the case, you do you. Uh, <laughs> No opacity. Zero opacity. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Maro. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> that, <laughs> that emote is so fucking small. <laughs> it is so minuscule. Lesbian emoji for Android. <laughs> oh, so true. So true, chat. So true. They're just little guys together. I mean, what is a lesbian if not for a little guy in love with another little guy? Bro, <laughs> bro, he's tiny. <laughs> what is it's a lesbian? A little pile of pixels. <laughs> what is a lesbian but a miserable pile of pixels? <laughs> Does the little guy happen to live in a blue world? In all day and all night, all the <laughs> it's blue inside and outside. Blue is sweet, <laughs> the blue little window. <laughs> but no, the little guy does not happen to live in a blue world where all day and all night everything you see is just blue. <laughs> People think that song has a meaning. Bro, it's about a blue man. There is no meaning. Only blue. <laughs> but, you know, I really do love seeing people that actually have media interpretations for that kind of thing. <laughs> What's black and blue and dumb and do that and die? <laughs> so true! <laughs> They're so true, chat. You wanna look at the fucking? Do you wanna look at the fish cam? Do you wanna look at the fish doorbell while I uh, finish this? I need you to specifically, I need you, chat, to help me find the fucking fish. Cause like that's, it's really, it's really hard. Now to, um, this entire thing is in uh, Dutch, but I feel like that doesn't exactly matter. So. Uh, let's just get that up. Let's 
So, yeah. Chat, tell me if there's a fucking fish. No, please, I beg you. Bro, there... Not another friend the fish straight. Bro, I don't know if there's a fucking fish there. You have to tell me if there is, okay? Like, I, I'm busy. So you need to tell me, chat. <laughs> because if we find it, you won't see it and... <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> There's a 11... 111 uh, mensen on the, li on the <laughs> live stream, folks. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> what, a, what a milestone. <laughs> we will be here forever. Well, the stream doesn't end if you... If you don't... If you don't find a fish, chat, it it ends when I finish the drawing. If busy, you mean blind. <laughs> Bro, I am I am working on something currently. <laughs> so like Yeah, I'm I'm currently busy. So <laughs> now you <we> wait. <laughs> Bro, it's just like fishing in real life. Okay? Except you don't have to go outside. So, like... Like, come on. And now we wait. <laughs> Bro, I, I... Like, maybe there'll be a fish soon. You know? There might be a fish soon. Wish you were fishing pretty game on mystery. Which part of the stream do I focus on? Chat, it's it's really simple. It's really simple. All you have to do is multitask. Chat, is it's is the worst fishing mini game ever. Bro, is that a fish fuck in there? Which, which part of the which part of the fucking fish do I look at? Sorry. If anyone can translate this, that would be great. But yes, this is all, it's all live, folks. Wait. I'm playing Zelda, seeing the drawing, and I'm watching the fishing. <laughs> Great. You're enjoying the experience. You're enjoy I'm a man. I can't do so many things at once. What do, you, what do you mean? You just have to become a god. Also, you don't have to look at the... You don't have to look at the fish. Okay, chat? It's just there if you want to, like, look at the fish. Okay? You know, like, I'm, I'm a reasonable person. I, I mean, like, I know you can't focus on, like, everything at once. But, like... You know, I, I feel like line art's boring anyhow, so, like, this is a, like, it's kind of like a, like a nice, it's, it's soothing. If chat's behaving bad, you get the you get the fish live stream. I felt that. Listen. It's really not that hard, chat. It's really not that hard. Maybe there won't be any fish today, you know? Sometimes there are no fish. There, <laughs> there is no fish. There is no Easter Bunny. There is no Santa Claus. And there is no fish doorbell. Oh, also, I should probably explain this site. Um, basically, 
you uh, click the red button there to alert the dam to open its gates in order because they want to let the fish through. It's a like a hydroelectric dam or something, and you know, uh, fish pass by because it's a it's still a body of water. You see, so they set this up, and they didn't get a camera that had uh, <laughs> they didn't get a camera with with color. <laughs> But yes. I do a gaming stream at some point, but like, I don't, my computer, like, I'd have to stream my entire computer. The camera is recording footage of the whole Little Mermaid extra Blu-ray edition. Yeah, I mean, like, come on, guys, it's a, listen, the people that are, like, dislike uh, the remake for, you know, having a black Ariel and and me disliking the remake because it is a lazy cash grab with subpar graphics. We are not the same. Okay? Cause like, god damn. Oh, why are you just sucking the color out of the original film and then going yeah Here you are. Also, I don't know what it what's up with all the mermaid films that are coming out recently. Because we've also got the Kraken thing coming out. Uh, I don't know what the fuck it's called. Uh, but honestly, I think that's going to be a DreamWorks miss. Honestly, uh, it just kind of looks... It's a, a DreamWorks L, if you will. Uh, but like, yeah, the like the designs of everyone just look bad. Like I, and that's not really a good critique because going this looks bad. It what what the what the fuck does that mean? Um, what's it called? Kraken, Kraken movie, hmm. Dreamwork. Bro, I don't. Uh oh, Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken. Okay, yeah. Um. I think it's the fact that, like, it could look better, yeah. I feel like some of the... The big animated movies work better as serials, yeah. I think it's how plasticky it looks. Like, it feels like something that would come out in the mid 2000s to me. Oh yeah, right. Ryan the Last Dragon would work way better as a series rather than as a standalone movie. I don't know why they fucking did that, man. But yeah, Ruby Gilman 
I don't understand why, um, like, no one in this movie can't, for the life of them, figure out that Ruby is a Kraken when she so clearly is fucking blue. She- she is literally blue. <laughs> I think it's also because, like, when it comes to designs like this, mermaids and krakens, there's so many ways of looking, like, making this look stunning, but it kind of feels like, um, like, the style reminds me of ugly dolls. It's so smoothed out. And, like, it takes out all the, like, punch it could have had. I don't think that it would have much narrative punch, to be quite fair. But, like, I don't know. The movie's not out yet. Really couldn't say. Though, the one movie I'm definitely seeing that's coming out soon is Barbie. I am watching that movie... That shit looks so fucking rad. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't think- I'm not really sure if I'm gonna watch Elemental, though. Elemental looks really, really pretty, and, like, the character designs have grown on me. I, I don't like Wade's regular shirt, but I like his, his inspector uniform, if that makes sense. <sighs> but, like, I'm not sure. I, I think I'd wait for reviews on that one. It looks way better than, uh, like, their previous titles. Like, I, I don't know what was going on with Strange World, to be quite fair. It, it, felt, it felt so weird. Looks pretty meh. Like, I don't think that the movie will be anything special, but... Like, the effects and how, like, non-human they make them like the fire girl and the water guy like have they make sure to make you know that they do not have any fucking bones and it is and it's really nice to watch in motion would i watch it for like the story or whatever no but just to see the characters animate yeah probably But let's see. There's a bunch of other ones that came out recently that were weird. That like are Disney, Disney movies that like no one really saw for some reason. Because they were, they looked pretty meh. Like Onward, I feel like no one saw. Like I've never... Once, got, like, ran into someone that's like a uh, like a big onward fan. I feel like Soul has quite a number of fans. So, um, cause like it has like a message and stuff like that. But uh, it's really hard to remember their release schedule. Like, what did 
Disney release that was recent. Uh, let me see. Disney. No. Rise Creator Pinocchio. Peter Pan and Wendy. Uh, people liked Luca, I think. Yeah. Uh, no one liked, no one liked uh, Buzz Lightyear though, because I mean, why the fuck, why the fuck would you watch that? Quantum Mania. Um, Guardians Volume Three. Well, my raid. Oh, they're making a Haunted Mansion movie. Like, a remake of the Haunted Mansion movie. Uh, but yeah. I've seen no one fucking talk about Strange World. I think that the last, yeah, I don't see much recent cinema at all. I think that the last um, Disney project that got a lot of, uh, like, traction was Encanto. Encanto. Like, I know, like, a bunch of people that are, like, big... Like, people that were like, fuck yeah. Went to see the Super Mario movie, but that's kind of it for the this year, lol. I mean, like, you can see the FNAF movie. That's coming out. You excited? You gotta get scared. I mean, that's coming out, <laughs> like, at the tail end of this year, though. I just hope to fucking god that Saw X is not awful. That's all I want. Bro, bro, just not suck. Just don't be another Saw 3D. Or another, or another Jigsaw. Like, maybe you could do it. <laughs> Please, Lee Whannell, come back. I am done with your hand, sir. You get kitty paw. We do not speak of Jigsaw or Saw 3D. I'm not even- I'm not gonna watch it even ironically, well. Unless it has ca Candy Cadet. Listen, Candy Cadet might be in the fuck. Who knows? We don't- Listen, if- I'll go see the FNAF movie, and I will tell you if there is a Candy Cadet reference. It's okay? I doubt it will. Honestly. But, like, sometimes we can- we can hope and pray, you know? But yes, um, out of- out of the two movies, which one do you think is worse? A uh, jigsaw or saw 3D? Cause I th I think it is saw 3D. I think saw 3D is worse on it, like it just on like a technical standpoint. But Jigsaw's not even really like a fucking saw movie. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> Me and my passion for Saw movies knows no end.
the fact that they're continuing to make Saw movies, like, is impressive to me. I don't know why, but th thanks, I guess? Spiral wasn't the fucking worst thing I've ever seen. It's not good, to be quite fair. But, like, you know, it, it it's a less Saw-y Saw movie. You know, you still got your traps. You still got your, you still got your traps in there. Like a Saw movie. But, like, they didn't just, like, create another, like, character. Like, they didn't just insert a character that was never there to begin with in the fucking movie. Saw plot twists are so outrageous. They are outra outrageous sometimes. Like, goddamn, are you- like, what do you mean she- you just had to, like, pan a little bit off the screen and there was another character right there, guys. Like, that's good. That's- that's great Saw twists- twists going on there. Um, I think my favorite Saw twist is in Saw 2, but that's not really a twist so much on the narrative standpoint, so much as on the game st uh, standpoint. But I do think it is funny uh, that we did get, like, some of the worst video games ever fucking made in the form of the Saw games. Like, I don't understand why they made a second Saw game. And it, like, huh? No one, li no one likes these games. And they are awful. And the only reason why I, like, even, like, remember that they exist is the fact that Germa got really fucking high and played one of the games and couldn't tell what time it was on an analog clock. All right, let's see. We're using these colors, folks. Give me. I'm a I'm a color thief. But it's okay, it's Pride Month. I can get away with this. It's color theft in the making, boys. <laughs> No, get back here. Sorry. Back to our regularly scheduled fish program. That may exist or not. I don't know. There might be fish on there. Keep looking, chat. Mm -hmm. 
What does the accused have to say about the murder charges? It was Pride our Month, Your Honor. <coughs> <coughs> so true, so true, so true and based. Uh, Your Honor, I'm just like a little guy, though. Can't can't prosecute a little guy. It would be wrong, and you'd be wrong for that. Okay. <laughs> Be gay, do crime. That's what it says, officer. Smell you later, freak. Be gay, do crime. Let's go, boys. I have to go and get some. I need to go to the store real quick and get a color chat. I'll be right back. <laughs> Faking the speed run. <laughs> Going to the store, chat. Be right back. <laughs> okay, we're back, chat. We went to the store. We got the milk. Buy some apples. <laughs> Chat, do you, you can. I'm not buying things for you to go to the fucking store, okay? I'm not getting Cosmic Crisp. 
We official sponsor of the Metallica Joko YouTube channel and Twitch channel because we're a Twitch channel first and foremost and then a YouTube channel Bro, my <laughs> wow sponsors already. Yeah, it's a crazy chat. I know, I'm not. I'm just. Uh, I'm just. I'm just. You know, I'm just talented. I guess you know. Even though we aren't even at partner status it's with <laughs> with Twitch yet, <laughs> it's so crazy. I'll do that later. <laughs> Metallic Joko for Infinity Sponsor. Bro, I don't- I'm not even on the fucking site, bro. How are they even- That's such a bad- Like, that's such a, an awful pairing. <laughs> so, I guess- Influencers don't have to actually use the product in order to be sponsored by them either, yeah? Just gotta go, yeah, chat, it's super pog and super, super sexy if you did that for me. Please. <laughs> How are you gonna pay for the complete body fursuit then? Morrow, what do you what do you think I do in my spare time? Honest question. Real real quick, what do you think I'm doing? Support those gay wrongs, folks. Drugs. So true. That's the, that's the actual truth of the matter. It's just all drugs. But anyway. I'd really appreciate if uh, you can support me financially. <laughs> nah. Just, get, just give me your like, Steam, Steam gift card. Because I'm I'm such a gamer. I see a lot of people do drugs. <laughs> what is considered a drug, in your opinion? Because I've got a lot. I've got a lot. Well. I used to have a lot of prescriptions, and then they were like, uh... Healthcare is a bitch. Mm 
High on life. There are many types of drugs. I can I can confirm that she does hard drugs when not streaming. Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> No one's supposed to know about the creatine. There's gonna be a collab between Meta Mare and drugs. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> the next fucking stream. Hey guys, welcome back. Yeah, we've got a special guest on. <laughs> we've got a special guest on the stream. <laughs> drugs. Give a warm welcome. <laughs> oh, so I've heard. I love, I love, uh, I love underline slopper. I love drugs. <laughs> A terrifying drug is some drugs can cause ego death. <laughs> either those, those are either <laughs> revelating or an absolute nightmare. Thank you. It's <laughs> just like a meta mare. Let's go, boys. I changed, I changed that, like, on Halloween one year, and I just have not changed it. Isn't that fucking funny? Streamer too busy to pay attention to fish. Special guest, every form of math all at once. Let's go, boys. It's a, it's a, it's a special edition stream. He might end up on live leak. Honestly. Happy Pride Month, y'all. <laughs> Plus stands for drugs. What do you think is a really gay drug, guys? <laughs> Personally, I think that fentanyl kind ki kind of fruity. Kind of fruity, honestly. <laughs> Got my crocodile. It's giving, like, big bisexual energy, you know? Now's <laughs> your chance? Now's your chance? Unfortunately, no clue. 
need to have a doctor PhD to know what drugs are what. Every trip, every weed, all at once. Every weed? <laughs> Caravan, I've got, got a sneaking suspicion that you've never had any drugs before. <laughs> and that's, that's unacceptable. <laughs> this is a beer pressure stream. <laughs> Come back once you've done really hard street drugs. <laughs> LSD can cause you to see every color in existence. Sounds pretty gay. Yeah, I feel like... Though, I feel like that one's kind of like pansexual. You know, it's all. No. Regardless. No. What? No, I've definitely done drugs. <laughs> this is turning into an actual Vagar stream. No, guys, really, I've, I've definitely done drugs before. And, like, they were super, like... Cool or something. <laughs> what the fuck is even a pansexual at this point? I'm, I'm afraid to ask. Like that's an actual thing. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It, it's like. <sighs> It's uh, heavily contested in the LGBO sphere, but uh, if for people that are not chronically on Twitter, um, it's basically just st st like the sexual attraction to anything. Well, anyone. That's the main thing about it. And I mean, that is also a a definition of bisexuality as well, but, uh, <laughs> it just depends on the label you prefer most. Uh, let's see. And you can often ask, uh, people why they identify certain ways, that kind of thing. Uh, just as long as you're not rude about it. No, I took drug. I took this prescription the doctor gave me for my sickness. They like bands. <laughs> me when I, <laughs> I give out a, like a detailed description of like, you know, you know if you if you feel comfortable with this, you know. <laughs> they like pans. Sorry. I was ruining the mood of this comedy live stream. My sorry, my science final was today. I'm still in study mode. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> methotrexate is like an amino acid. Never mind. Demo pansexual. Let's go, boys. Honestly, the demo man should have more uh, fan art of him uh, without a shirt off. It's. <laughs> The amount of soldier with his shirt off fan art you can just find is outrageous. <laughs> Same with Engineer, which is funny because he's 
not exactly what you would traditionally think of as, like, <laughs> traditionally masculine. Also, don't worry about it, Caravan. I didn't really understand your fucking reference, but I'm sure it was a real banger to the people that are still in study mode. I don't know if anyone's still in study mode at this point. We're all a bunch of fucking lunatics. Uh, <laughs> I do not wish to use my brain chat for that is weird and el el bozo lame. Working with a black background is sometimes just kind of fucking impossible. Yo Noid is a banger ass track, not gonna lie. I completely forgot that fish doorbell was still up on my fucking screen. <laughs> I find it pl pleasing to be by so I can find. <laughs> okay, let me focus. Let me read the sentence. I can I find it pleasing to be by for I can find someone like Vegard to be fruity. <laughs> Listen, he's so fucking. Bro is so fucking fruity, man. I was having a seizure reading that sentence. <laughs> Listen, some of them fan art are yummy now. <laughs> Send me some of your most yummy fan art. <laughs> I read the fucking... 
for I would like to see. Twitch would not approve. Well, I mean, it wouldn't. But I'm saying just to DM it to me, man. We can never make him really, really fucking fruity on Twitch. I'm really sorry about that chat. But, you know... Maybe for my last stream ever. <laughs> if I'm like already getting banned or something, I don't know. I don't know why I would get banned. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. It'll be like a little alternate. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's red. It's a good way to go. <laughs> Making the fruitiest Vagar possible before the cops arrive. If Fruity Vagar is wrong in the eyes of the law, do you really want to be right? Exactly, chat. Stand for what you believe in. <laughs> for law is relative. I am God's drunkest driver. Is that okay in the eyes of law? No. No, it is not. But it is... Okay, in the eyes of God. Okay. Uh, so. <laughs> Bro, where the fuck are we going with that? Listen, chat, I will forever make. Fruity Vagar picks for as long as it is my hyperfixation. I will give you my word.
I could play Tom Lehrer songs because they are in the public domain, but I don't want to play them. <laughs> Next time on the Meta Stream, we will pl we will play Tom Lehrer songs as so I draw Janna League of Legends. Well, I cannot. Well, I canonically see. Vagar slim because body type and probably poor diet happy. Thankfully, with magic that don't matter. Well, exactly. He is a non-Euclidean creature. She thick. Thank you. Thank you, Mara. I'm glad you noticed. <laughs> I'm gonna wind up dead. Trivia murder party. It's a trip to hell. Will I check out? Thick enough to squeeze this old watermelon to pieces. So true, chat. So true. I mean, like, that's just... I mean... Bro, what the fuck is the point of a short stack if you're not gonna make them stacked? <laughs> What's the point? Rumble's an exception. He gets no ass. He is bitchless. He is friendless. Yo! <laughs> Hi there, Frone! I think- I don't think my uh, permission slip allows me to hear that. <laughs> Bro, huh? Your permission slip? <laughs> Oh shit, the continental breakfast has coffee cake, guys. Girls, girls, girls. Love girl. No, Tristy. Bro, what the... Your rumble side, you can put him in the in jar. No, Tristy. Is the implications that all yordles besides rumble are short stacks? Um... Really, mm, that's a great question. That's a really great question. Uh... See, like, I feel like there's certain, like, malnourished 
uh, body type templates, but for the most part, like healthy yordles, yes, they are. All of them, all of them, yes, short stack. Gotcha. Good to know that Corky is thick. Oh god. Oh my god, I forgot about him. He comes in when you least suspect it, though. Listen, I, I mean, like, Corky... Most of his weight's in his stomach, okay? But yes, Corky thick. I mean, like, when you think of, like, old man body types, like, um, Kled is, like, muscular, but, like, really skinny old man muscular and like Heimerdinger is like kind of long skinny old man it's always someone remembers Corky or someone forgets Corky exists Corky do be looking like the Lorax it's so funny <laughs> He do be looking like the Lorax. For real, for real, chat. <laughs> this is kind of like a love core Vagar, if I'm being real. But the lesbian flag should be love core at the end of the day. I think there was a buff Lorax dragon in Dragon Ball Z, though. Huh? I have not seen Dragon Ball Z, but, um... Well, I haven't... When was this? seen like the first few episodes of Dragon Ball Z and then I was like I don't even like Shonen can you explain to me that meme of a stig figure with the lesbian flag kicking another le figure with the rainbow flag okay um lesbian sweep <laughs> that's <laughs> but also it's kind of like um Buff women uh, versus small gay man. <laughs> uh, but really, it's just kind of funny. His name is Topo. In Dragon in Dragon Ball Super, Frieza trying to talk shit to the Lorax, and he goes sicko mode. Let me. I have to fucking look at Topo. What the fuck are you on about? <laughs> TBZ, uh, Topo. 
God of Destruction. <laughs> Why the fuck is he here? <laughs> when women love women, MLM versus sibling like hostility. So true. Is that why Vi is kicking in the gay league promo? So true, so true. Lorax, god of destruction. God damn. God motherfucking damn. Alright. I think I've had enough of fish doorbell. Let me... Clocks, bitch. <laughs> Motherfucking clocks. Kick W. <laughs> Brisa got ragdolled by Buff Lorax. This is canon. wanted to show you that chat. <laughs> motherfucking clocks, bitch. God motherfucking damn. <laughs> is that the gorilla? Is that the gorilla in, in Godzilla video or the original? I, hear, I think it is. is it? God motherfucking. Yeah, it's not. It. it, it <laughs> I'm not sure if it's the original or not, to be quite honest. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> God motherfucking damn. <laughs> All right. I think we we done. We're done. No more motherfucking clocks, bitch. <laughs> no more motherfucking clocks. We're all out. <laughs> I know why you're all here, and it's for the motherfucking clocks, bitch. But yeah, support gay wrongs, folks, because I sure will, I sure will, <laughs> I, pray, I pray to this image every night, even though I just made it. Anyway, I hope that everyone has a great rest of their night, and a great rest of their week. Uh... <laughs> Thank you.
Let's see. Mm. <laughs> Thank you for the stream. No problem. Gotta say, love how lively this stream was today. Exactly. You're not the only chatter this time, Caravan. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> but yeah, I I'm really happy that all of you could make it for this one. It was really, really fun. Uh, always s s s like a blast to have a bunch of people just shouting at me. <laughs> Random ass shit. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's just really, it's really something. Truly went from ranges of topics. Drawing requests to Fruit Vagar to Lorax. Yeah, that's just how it be on this stream, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for, <laughs> for telling my boss I didn't have to go <laughs> tonight for, to work. Yeah, no problem. I didn't have to go to work. You know, I'm I'm there for you, buddy. <laughs> I have plenty of things to bug you with tomorrow. Joke's on you. Joke's on you. I'm not going to work tomorrow. I'm off. <laughs> I don't work the rest of the week. Let's go, boys. Poggers, Pog Champ. Uh <laughs> Have a great rest of your day, a great rest of your night, and a great rest of your week. <laughs> uh, this was a lot of fun. Sp oh, speaking of uh, Fruity Vagor, sent one of my faves on Twitter DMs. Fuck. <laughs> Poggers, no work. So true. So true, Chad. So true. <laughs> Motherfucking clocks, bitch. <laughs> next time, uh, next time we'll do some uh, Breaking Bad roleplay. It'll be really funny. It'll be really funny. Uh, see you next Thursday, guys. It's good night. Good evening, and whatever else <laughs> might be in your fucking time zone. Good night. <laughs>